two games you've had some long passes, but not a lot to wide receivers. How can you get them more involved moving forward? Um, I think really just game planning for it. And we do a really good job during the week of um, our timing and getting stuff on the play sheet. Um, just kind of in the heat, in the mo heat of the moment of the game. Sometimes stuff doesn't get called and we don't get everything called that we would wish to. But, I mean, looking forward, um, I have all the confidence in the world in those guys and I have all the confidence in the world in myself to be able to push the ball down the field and hope to continue to do that and do that more as the season goes along. Quarterback, do you get excited when you go up against another team that has a powerful offense and you might need to put up some points yourself? I mean, I just kind of look at it as, as every other week. And, um, I mean, I don't really focus on what their offense is going to do. I kind of look more at what their defense is going to do against us and kind of how they might scheme us and game plan for us. Um, and just going to be confident in what the coaches um, get on the, the call sheet for us this week and just go out and execute it. Evaluate the play of Avery Johnson through two games. Well, um, I still think I have a lot of room to grow and a lot of improvement to be made. Week one was very, I feel like, very average for me, very average average week. And then um, week two, I felt like I, I made steps, but I look to make uh, bigger strides as, as the season goes on, and especially from week two to three, because um, that's where some of the, the biggest strides are made. But I mean, I'm still young. I still got a, a lot of improvement to make, but I feel like um, I'm still really confident in myself, and and I mean two, two and zero, oh, three and zero oh as a starter. So I'm um, confident where I'm at with my team. How quickly did you know you overshot Sterling on that pass? I, I knew it immediately, and I was kind of drifting backwards because um, I kind of felt a little bit of pressure. And whenever I drift backwards to the left, I, I always um, put a little bit more juice on the ball than I need to. And the same thing happened whenever I threw that ball to Jace that he dove and caught when I was moving backwards to my left and the ball left my hand. Um, I was like, gosh, I threw that a little bit too far. But that one had a little bit more air under it, so he could he could adjust to it. But that's definitely one of about two or three throws I wish I, I could have back Saturday. On Saturday, um, you looked, I don't want to say timid's not quite the right word, but you looked a little less comfortable running the ball than you had been in the past. Was there any truth to that? I mean. Uh, I, I'm sorry if it looked that way, <laughs> um, but I mean, I'm just just trying to protect myself to the best of my ability um, and then take advantage of, of opportunities whenever I could um, to, to maybe make a home run play. But I know now that not every play is going to be a home run. So instead of getting maybe an extra yard or two here, um, taking care of my body and longevity of it. This is your first college. Friday game. I don't know. Obviously, you're still early in it, but like, what what changes in your guys' schedule whenever you have kind of a shortened week like this? Yeah, everything gets kind of sped up and, and squished a little bit. It's different because we're in the building um, on a Sunday, which is not typical. We kind of come in and get recovery, and then we'll watch the the film from the day before. Um, so you kind of have to pack all that in in the morning, and then you go through um, kind of like a walkthrough, an extended walkthrough. We did a little like fr flush run yesterday to get uh, everybody's bodies moving and everything. Uh, and then the practices uh, will be a little bit shorter, um, a little bit lighter than a, a normal week just because of less time for recovery, less time to get our bodies right. And I mean, we played a, a full, full, full four quarter game on Saturday. So the coaches are just trying to take care of us. But I mean, we'll just have to be m more mentally locked in at practice this week and take a lot more mental reps. Um, because we'll, the practices will be cut um, 10, 15 minutes shorter. And then obviously you're still early. I'm sure there's still a lot to find out, but just what are your early impressions of Arizona's defense? Really talented team. Um, they're really good at what they do defensively, and they've been able to show that in the past. In the past. And uh, I'm really excited to be able to go up uh, against a, another talented team this week because I feel like Tulane is a really talented defense and Arizona um, is very talented as well. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to be able to line it up against those guys and, and be able to, to compete against them on Friday night. Avery, uh, Arizona's defensive line has created a lot of pressure through the first two weeks. Uh, is there anything unique they're doing along the defensive line or is that just the talent that they have winning early on? Um, I mean, like I said, it's just a talented bunch and um, they, they have a lot of uh, you know, experienced guys and, and talented guys in that front four. So 
that's credit to them um, for doing that. And they're obviously really well coached, so that plays a part in it as well. Um, but, you know, like I, like I said, I have all the confidence in the world of my, my five up front to be able to keep guys off me and, um, you know, be able to protect me. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm rocking with, with my guys through whatever. When, when Dylan comes in the game right now, are you just thinking instant offense almost with the production he's put up? Yeah, I mean, he's explosive with the ball in his hands, and people have been able to see that whenever we are able to get the ball in his hands. Um, so I, I just I, – it's hard because the, the first two weeks, I mean, everybody can say it, we haven't got him the ball enough, and we look to, to get him the ball uh, more as the weeks go on. Um, but – like I said, we have a really talented running back room, and uh, we'll continue to, to get those guys involved as much as we can. Avery, I want to ask you a little bit about Coach's comments about being a culture win. Take us back to the locker room and kind of maybe how the leadership people stood up and, and got the thing turned around. I feel like the best part of it all is it wasn't just one person speaking up and one person being vocal at halftime. It was really everybody, all six of our captains um, had something to say. And you just saw people kind of take leadership of their position group. And then for the team as a whole, we just really had a lot of, a lot of people step up and voice their opinions. We all knew we weren't playing up to how we, how we needed to play. And we need, just needed a, a little spark to flip the momentum on, on Tulane to, you know, kind of get the, the momentum shifted back in our advantage. And once we, once we got it, we just kind of took it and ran with it you about the offensive line they obviously went through some things some adversity on Saturday just kind of take me through that and, and those those two guys on the left side Lane Gang and Pastore and what they might have contributed for you I feel like they they were called called up and, and stepped up to the challenge and that was one thing I did at halftime I challenged those guys and I said I mean hey man we know what they're going to do now we know what to expect um, at this point it's just you versus the guy in front of you um, and I challenge you to win your one-on-one, -on -one, and that's what they did in the second half. And uh, Liney and, and John did a really good job of whenever their number was called, being ready. And that's just credit to them, the work they put in, and um, how they prepared throughout the week because um, there was no fall off whenever they came in the game. When you've gone back and watched yourself on film, have there been any like underrated plays that you've been really happy with that we maybe would have missed live? Um, not that I can – not that I can think of. Uh, not not too many times I'll go back and watch the tape and say, "Oh, I did this so well. I wish everybody could saw it." I'm more, I'm my, I'm my, I'm my biggest critic. So, whenever I go back and watch the tape, it's always, "What did I do wrong?" And I always have, you know, throw here or there that I wish I could have back, um, and how can I improve from it you know, with the week that coming on. That you notice that you're like, man, I really need to improve on this. Yeah, just. Um, we've kind of been nailing it, and it's just run game footwork and carrying out my fakes to maybe hold a guy here or there, and then my RPO footwork because whenever I pull to pass on RPO games, it's really good, but whenever I, I give the ball, I kind of just sit there and, and watch everything that's going on in front of me, and you never know. Every, I, could, I could hold a guy for half a second, and it could just give DJ enough time or Dylan enough time to, to make a play. So it's the little things that I really just need to clean up right now. Um, and then – Whenever I do get a chance to, to make that home run play, just not missing on it. Time for one more. Yeah, how excited are you to play on Fox at night on a Friday night in Bill Snyder Family Stadium? I think that's it's going to be a, a great opportunity because um, we're one of the only teams playing on Friday, and it's on Fox, so it's going to be for everybody to see. Um, it's, a, it's a really special opportunity for us, and we get to play at home, which our home crowd is like no other. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be different because I never played a game this late, and, I mean, they just dropped the time for that BU, BYU game. So, I mean, I'm going to be playing even later next week. But it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to go out there and, and line it up with, uh, with my guys.